Welcome to the Threality Technica tutorial on assembling the Pulsar rig in an over and through configuration. Please note that this tutorial can be used interchangeably for both the Atom and the Pulsar rigs. The Atom, however, may be made with magnesium. Take additional care with the magnesium Atom rigs when tightening screws as the threads can be stripped easily. Here are the parts and tools needed to assemble the Pulsar in the over and through configuration. When assembling the Pulsar, you use many different types of screws that are very specific to each part. Make sure that you organize them properly so as not to misplace them. The countersunk holes in the base of the cage make useful organizing trays for all of the screws. Let's start with the cage. First, we need to identify the right and left sides as well as the front and the back of the cage. The back of the cage is identified by the two raised lips on the upper frame brackets attached to it. We refer to the left and right sides of the rig as if you were the camera operator facing the rig. Use the balance plate assembly to attach the cage to a dovetail. First, remove the two screws. Be aware that once you remove the screws, the small plate on the underside of the assembly will release. Align the assembly so the locking lever is on the right side of the cage. It is easier to attach the balance plate with the cage on its side. Hold the assembly together as you tighten the screws. Notice that you can pick your optimal placement by sliding the plate along the cage. We'll start in the middle. Once the balance plate is secure, slide the cage onto the dovetail. Use the locking lever on the right side to tighten it into position. We attach the motion module first. This has the motor box attached to the top. For this piece, you will need the following screws and tools. Slide the motion module onto the top of the cage, aligning the grooves. Make sure the back is flush to the lips of the upper frame brackets. Identify the motion module's left side by the convergence and interaxial knobs. Identify the right side by the pulleys. Secure the back of the motion module with the two designated screws. Then tighten the eight screws underneath the module. To keep the tension even, zigzag the order of the screw placement. Tighten them completely when all are in place. Secure the pulley covers into place with the four designated screws. The large shark fin attaches to the left side of the rig. The small shark fin attaches to the right side of the rig. We will start with the large shark fin. Locate the registration pins on the back of the large shark fin. Align these with the slots on the left side of the motion module. Secure with the two 1024 by 1 half inch screws. Next, attach the center interface. Align the center interface along the large shark fin at a 45 degree angle to the motion module. Secure to the motion module with a low head socket cap screw. You may need a right angle Allen key to fit in some of these tighter places. Attach to the shark fin with the two 1024 by 1 half inch screws. Attach the alignment module using these screws and tools. Identify the alignment module by the three knobs on the back. We cover alignment in a separate tutorial. Align the holes to the center interface. Position the alignment module with the back facing the back of the rig. This should position it parallel to the upper part of the large shark fin. Secure to the large shark fin using three 1024 by 1 half inch screws. Use the low head socket cap screw to attach to the center interface. Attach the small shark fin with these screws and tools. Using the small lip as a guide, 
align the small shark fin into the designated slot on the motor box. Secure the lip with a very small 832 by 3 8 inch screw. Use the three Phillips head screws to attach this to the alignment module. Attach the center interface with the two 1024 by 1 half inch screws. Finally, attach to the motion module using the low head socket cap screw. Once again, a right angle Allen key may be easiest here. Next, we attach the stiffening rod and gusset using these screws and tools. Align the two holes on the gusset with the two holes on the motion module. The stiffening rod aligns perpendicular and flush to the small shark fin. Secure the stiffening rod with the larger of the screws. Secure the gusset with the two smaller designated screws. Next, attach the dog bone. Fit the dog bone in the designated grooves on the front of the large and small shark fins and the gusset. Align the six screw holes of the dog bone to the six matching holes on the rig. If the holes do not line up, your dog bone may be upside down. Start by securing with one loose screw. To find the left-right orientation, start with a 1 8 inch gap between the dog bone and the large shark fin. You can use a 1 8 inch Allen key as a guide. Once the gap is correct, secure the dog bone into place with the six designated screws. Finally, attach the mirror box with the 5 32nd Allen key. Ensure the two screws on both ends of the dog bone are loose. Slide the rods on the top of the mirror box into the dog bone. Center the dog bone on the rods. We fine tune this position when we mount the cameras. Tighten the screws on both the left and right sides. This concludes the Threality Technica tutorial on assembling the Pulsar rig in an over and through configuration. Thank you.